What's going on everybody, Yif Graphics here, and today I'm bringing you some more Major Minor. Last time I left off, we had exited the cab, and I guess we're now at the Maid Cafe with uh, Killa. I still don't know how to pronounce his name, so we're still gonna call him Killa. So let's get on to this. <clears throat> as soon as I stepped out into the open and feast my eyes upon Akabara, Akiabara? All fear and worry about the previous subject swiftly melted away. This was amazing. You see, a, you see pictures a lot, but only your eyes can capture the full glory of any given subject. Well, what do you think? I tried to park in a spot that gave for the greatest reveal. Did I do justice? Ah. Uh. Jeez, it looks absolutely stunning. Better than I have ever could have imagined. So, where's the May Cafe? I mean, oh, I can barely contain my excitement. My erection. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not too far away. And I guess there's no need to keep it secret much longer. We're going to cafe chat. It's a little place run by a girl named Claire, and owned by f and funded by Clays. Oh, of course, of course, we're gonna go to a place that's owned by Clays. Heard of it? <clears throat> Heard of it? That place is legendary. Really, Clays? Really? You couldn't just make up some random place that had nothing to do with you. But oh no, this place owned by you is legendary. <sighs> what? There's supposed to be a wait time of months before you can get inside. Really? Really? <laughs> a May Cafe, really? Yes, but not everybody has the same advantages that you two do, remember? Inside access is one of your benefits, and not just with the Hostess, but with Eclair herself, the one and only. You gotta be kidding me. I've had a dream of her since I've been a oh, little young squirrel. Whoa, calm down, sir. I think I felt the earth shake a little there. I'm certainly not kidding. You know how obvious it is when I tell you a joke. This is the honest truth. I, I, yeah, that's true. Her jokes definitely don't come across as obvious. Oh. I can't believe it. Lean the way. Not so fast, Killa. I'm afraid this is where the part, we part ways for now. Rook is the one who'll show you the way. I have important business to attend elsewhere. I apologize. I also... Can't leave Inumi unattended for long. Who is this guy anyways? No apologies necessary. <clears throat> What's the deal with Inumi? Hold on one second. Ah. Jade retreats back into the limo and slowly drives away. She was certainly a treat. A nice metal... A, a nice metal ground. Not as spazzy as Killa, and not as intensive as Rook. I liked her. Surely I'll see her around more. Yeah, she's gotta drive you around everywhere. Well, you heard her. Follow me. And just try not to ever tell anyone what I went that I went to a maid cafe. Why? Why? I'll never hear the end. <laughs> Fine. Rook starts to lead us down the street. He's staring down, focused on his tablet. Perhaps he thinks no one will see him if he can't be, if he, he can't see them. That ain't gonna work. He still skillfully leads the way. You know, I have to give him credit. As addicted to that tablet as he is, he seems to not let it overtake him. He can still make conversations and socialize while typing away. Not everybody can multitask so efficiently. Well, that's because he's, you know, the big guy, you know? He's like the manager, I guess. I don't know. So, 
what is eclair light you know it's like a chocolate um donut thing with you know cream filled inside it that's what an eclair is like it's like heaven i don't know i've never been well you sure seem to know exactly where it is. Ah, ah, see? He's got you there, Rook. He's got you there. What are you gonna do? Are you hiding something? I've never been. Also, it's called Global... P -p 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 what? Positioning? Do you think I'm role-playing on this tablet or what? Oh, sorry. Besides... When we get there, I might just wait outside or walk around until it's time to head to our hotel room. <clears throat> I wouldn't be caught dead in that place. That's kind of rude. Yeah, man. What's your deal? Yeah, kind of like deciding to go to, the, to a May Cafe without the input of all three people. Hey! Your job is to take us where we want to go, not where you want to go. You know, all so rude. Whatever. Wow, this guy is such a jerk. Before anyone can say anything else, Rick stops dead in his track and points to a little shop that's a few minutes ahead. Is that cafe chat? <clears throat> it's over there. Go. Have fun. Just don't drag me into your business there. I'll come get you when it's time. You don't have too long. I'll need to get you situated back at the hotel sooner rather than later. Don't mention my name to Eclair. Maybe he loves Eclair. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to go in. And everything between us will be okay. I'll even forgive you for breaking the NDA, alright? Wait a second. You say these things like a Claire knows you or something. Silence. Rook runs away and seems to disappear into the shadows, leaving Killa and I on our own to enter the cafe chat. It isn't much longer till we arrive at the door, since he took us almost the whole way. <clears throat> oh, wow, we're actually in it. Wow. When we enter, I'm immediately shocked by how fancy it is in here. Oh wait, maybe that's why it takes a long time to get in. It's like one of those fancy restaurants. But why is it a maid cafe? I don't understand. Maybe they have fancy maid cafes in Japan. I don't know. Clay's just has... Clay's must have spent millions of dollars making this place what it is. Millions? Really? Whoa. Oh, hello, hottie. Where are you? Oh, is that how? Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Cafe Chat. Um, we're here to see Eclair. We have a reservation, I guess. I, I don't know. <clears throat> Kill is looking at the floor and kicking his foot back and forth. He's clearly nervous about being here. I don't blame him. If it was his dream to go to a May Cafe, it'd be overwhelming at first. I mean, I definitely wanted to go to a May Cafe as well. But I didn't know any specific place or hostesses at all. I just liked the idea. Woo wee! It's you two! I've been told you may stop by! It's me! I'm a Claire! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Come and have a seat now. Let's not delay this any further. You two must be mighty special to get bumped right into the top of my reservation list in just an hour. Don't tell her. Not breaking that agreement again. She leads us over to a little three-person booth and sits down on the side with one, one, with one chair. Kill and I sit beside each other on the side with two chairs. She... Gla she glances at us piercingly, as if she's trying to figure out what to do with us. Quiz me. What? <laughs> do what? <laughs> Kill's eyes beam with happiness, like millions of his dreams are coming to f f 
Ah, all at once. Do either of you know why we don't have four chairs to a booth here at Cafe Chat? What? Are you serious? Y'all don't have four chairs at a booth? Why? Time's up. Now, you learn. The number four is considered bad luck, so why not just make five chairs? Think of it. Think of it like a number 13 in Western culture. You with me? You with me? Sometimes in Japanese, the number four can be pronounced she, which is same pronunciation of death. She smiles and giggles at us. I don't think I've ever seen someone act so happy after saying the word death before. That was eerie. Also, because when you look- I think I gave her like a country accent and now it's turning like into ghetto. Ooh. Howdy. Also, because when you look at the booths from above, they kind of look like the base of a cat's paw. Pad, paw pads. Hence, cafe chat. What? <laughs> Where does the chat come from? That's French for cat. Oh, really? That seems like a more fitting explanation. Also, because of the death thing, we don't even have a table for. We go right from one to two to three to five. Kind of like a how in the West they skip floor four, 13 and some skyscrapers. Really? I don't think they do. Maybe they do. I don't know. Especially hospitals. What? <laughs> I was worried that the mention of death would scare Killa, but I look at him and he seems and to see pure jubilance. Wow. <clears throat> Let me clean my throat there. Wow, you're so smart, Eclair. What else can you tell us? Well, how about quiz round two? I'm ready. I just want my fucking coffee. <laughs> I don't want to take these stupid quizzes. This girl is just unreal. I've never seen someone with so much energy. She does this every day? If this was my job, I'd rather be drained after a few minutes. I'd be drained. I don't even know what I just said. Can either of you guess why I'm named Eclair? Because you're like the donut? Think really hard. Because you're cream filled. Oh. Oh, that's easy. Because you're really sweet. Like the pastry you're named after. Wrong. It's because I'm really quick. I think it's because you're cream filled. Before I can even comprehend how she just spawns a couple of plates on the table. Like some sort of magic trick. Wow. How did she do that? Did I just black out for a second? <clears throat> Quick light lightning. The true meaning of the word eclair. Also French. Jeez, maybe I should be giving her like a French accent now. She winks and then points to the plates before her. They're layered with onigiri, or rice balls. I am so pumped. If she asks what they are as the next part of the quiz, I'm going to be impressed. I'm going to impress her big time. Come on. <clears throat> uh -huh. Okay, okay. Now, let's switch up for the next part of the quiz, shall we? Final round, commence. I'm so ready to say rice balls. Rook refused to come in, didn't he? Rice balls! Wait, what? Huh? Guess he told you not to tell me anything, hmm. Right, typical Rook, stubborn as ever. I don't know who you two are. Jay contacted me to let me know. So, I know Rook is involved. So, you two do know each other. He didn't even tell you that much. He seemed to hate the idea of made cafes. He was just so downright suspicious. Well, that wasn't always the case. In fact, there would have been a time 
when he was proud to call me his partner. Though, I'm assuming such time has long since passed. He hasn't spoken to me in years now. Wow, that's heavy. What happened? Eclair slumps in her chair and her ears drop down. Is this what a maid cafe was supposed to be like? I thought maids were here to cater to our whims, not tell us your sob stories. Although I guess they're supposed to bond with us. The closer they got to us, the more inclined we would to give to give her a tip. Really, like, how much do they get paid in Japan? Like, I know in American culture, you know, waitresses don't make minimum wage, but that's just because of prohibition in America caused it, not because of just regular things. I guess you could tip her. I'm, I think she'd be making good money. Wait. She's an evil genius. Is she just playing with us? I noticed a tear fall down from her cheek. Jeez, oh, that, that's like a, another emotion. <coughs> None of these other people have no emotions except for you. Sorry. This is just the first time anyone associated with Rook has come here. I'm kind of reliving memories. Even if that call from Jade was so sudden, it totally threw off my groove. I tried to remain calm and collected from the second you walked in the door. But the truth is, I was almost crying, and I guess now it's gotten the better of me. Please excuse me. Huh? That was on. What are we doing here? We just run. We bolt out the door. I'm really clueless. Was coming here a bad idea? It seems like all we did was make her relive some tra traumatic memories. I feel horrible. Dang it! We made a bad choice from the beginning. I knew it. Should we leave or go talk to her? Man. Oh, shoot. We get another choice. It's like an ultimate decision. Man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just... <laughs> we run. <laughs> we run. She's just trying to make more money off of us. <laughs> I tell Killer that I think we should leave. We've already gotten into something we shouldn't have. It wasn't fair to chase after her and possibly make things worse. That's the last thing we need. I guess you're right. But I feel really bad. I hope we'll see her again sometime soon. Rook, you can't be in here. You said you wouldn't come in here. Hey, you two. Honestly, don't care what happened or why Claire stormed off, but you need to come with me. And I mean right now. I've been ordered to bring you to the hotel. Post haste. Really? She was supposed to serve us. We didn't even get coffee. Was he watching us? How else would he know what happened? First Jade and now Claire? That is extremely creepy. What's happening? I'm not authorized to say anymore, but something has come up and I need to get the both of you to safety right away. Are you serious? Like, safety serious? Do I look like the kind of person to lie? Just follow me and remain inconspicuous. And please, don't tell Eclair I ever set foot in here again, or tell me anything that she said during your meal. Well, we still haven't gotten to eat. Well, you're not gonna eat. Well, okay, let's save here. I'm gonna still keep going. I'm gonna push through this. It's gonna be this final part. I don't know how long this is. Huh? It's already got dark outside. Just how much time are we wasting in there? Oh well. Akihabara at night. Time truly was a spectacle to behold. It was lit up like daytime. How about you say like a Christmas tree or like France or something, you know? Like, <clears throat> Sorry to pull you out of there so fast. I knew you were probably having fun. We really weren't. That was definitely a relative term. We really, we really weren't. We made a girl cry. 
I wouldn't call watching a hostess break down and cry the definition of fun. Yeah, that's a fact. So, you're not even going to explain why you pulled us out of there so quickly? Come on, man. I'm really not li at liberty to say. Well, you're going to tell us anyway. Did Killa just yell? Oh. Well, you're going to tell us anyway. Okay, there we go. Huh? Look, we haven't really been treated all too well since we got here. Yeah, we're contest winners, and you're gonna treat us like crap. First you judge and belittle me, and you've been completely condescending towards us both ever since we first met. We haven't had a meal in over 12 hours. My throat is completely parched. You sent us a place knowing it would break the heart of a young girl. Everything you've done so far has either been for your own gain or not thought out. <clears throat> Sorry. You're right. As if it wasn't obvious enough that I have a hard time socializing properly. Just rub my face in it. Hey, don't you try to victim blame. That's not what I'm trying to do. Well, it's definitely what you did. You know, you're a contest winner, I've treated you so poorly, and now you're blaming me? That's not my fault. <laughs> you know, I'm not a good social person, why you gotta push it back on me? <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what you're going on if I could, but I can't. Even my hands are tied at some time, so right? Just please follow me. The hotel is within walking distance, and I'm again. I'm sorry, you jerk. Okay, let's stop that. <laughs> Please forgive me for any instances of placing myself above the two of you. Rook's head slumps down like he's losing himself in tablet world again, but we slowly follow him, trusting that he's taken us in the right direction. Why would he... Not take us in the right direction. This is his job. It's true. Nothing so far has been exceptionally glamorous or extravagant. That's definitely what we were promised in all the advertising of this contest. Do you think I came off a little bit too aggressive? No, you were sticking up for what was right, man. I feel bad. <clears throat> you were mean. <laughs> You won a contest and he belittled you. How could you bring that back on him? No, he deserved it. <laughs> I try to put Killa's mind at ease. Rook's kind of deserved a verbal lashing. I feel like they could have picked someone better to come and meet us at the train station. Yeah, thanks for taking my sign. I still feel a little mad, but it had to be either me or you. Hopefully, it's not too much further. Jeez, that one was an easy choice. In fact, it wasn't that far at all. <clears throat> but it was definitely huge. Well, this is it. I hope you enjoy your stay. Your room is 22B, and here are your key cards. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Man, why would you take us to a Stravgan hotel? I wanted to go to like one of those like one room hotels where you know they have like all those like boxes that you sleep in. That that's true Japanese hotel culture right there. He hands me both key cards like he doesn't want to make physical contact with Killa. Was he that upset? <clears throat> wow, this place is massive. What kind of Amenities doesn't have. I guess you'll have to figure that out for yourself or something. Oh, okay. That was cold, Rook. I wonder who else is staying here. If this is the hotel where contest winners stay, I wonder if there are any other celebrities here on vacation or something cool like that. Other celebrities? Oh, look at that. I'm already getting full of myself. I hope you two enjoy it. I think it cost us around a million dollars to have you here for a whole time. A million dollars! How long are we gonna be here? 
That's ridiculous. Thanks for leading us here, at least. Do you have any further instructions? Be up at 9 a.m. sharp. Either myself or someone will be coming to get you. You'll meet some more people behind Clay's life. Get to wander a bit around backstage a little bit and eat. Eat? Yes, finally. I'm hungry. That's all I wanted to hear. Killa excitedly runs to the hotel room doors. I decide to give chase. I wouldn't want to get lost. <clears throat> it doesn't take long to find our hotel room. But when we do, we are stunned. Okay, let's make another save file right here. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to end it here. I don't know how long this like, chapter is going to be, but it's a long fucking chapter. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time on another one of these. Peace out, everybody.